So there's a new restaurant that's about to sweep the nation. In fact, really? everybody's talking about it, including Fallon. I saw that an all-male Hooters-inspired restaurant is opening up in Dallas called Tallywhackers. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Tally. When asked what you need to work there, the manager said, a sock. Uh, uh, we have a great uh, show. Give it up for the now, joining us in studio is the owner of this restaurant. No, he apparently Wackers. gave a quote to Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Well, he's not, no, he's the owner. He's not the manager. Oh. That's beneath him, Kelly Raspberry. Oh. Rodney Duke. Nice. How you doing, buddy? I am great, you guys. How are y'all today? Doing Actually, good, right? Rodney has history with the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Really? Mm -hmm. Please tell us, yes. Rodney. It was about uh, 10 years ago. We uh -huh. did a reality radio, Kids yeah. Crib. And we did it for, I think, what, two weeks, Kelly? Yeah, you were at the apartment complex just a couple doors down from yeah. the studio. Yes. And you and Deontay, I believe, yes. was in that batch of contestants, were fighting to win free rent for a year, was it? It was for a year. Mm -hmm. In this apartment. And Deontay ended up winning, but we met Rodney. He was one of the contestants. Yeah. It was all money for kids' kids. Yep. Yeah. Right. Turns out you're doing just fine, though, even though you didn't doing win that good. contest. Doing he, good. Sir, he, yeah. he overcame that horrible loss. <laughs> so tell us where the idea for Tally Whackers came from. We well, you know that's the the big question, yeah. and um, it's funny that everyone has asked themselves the same question over time when visiting all these other venues that are more related with female eye candy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is there not a male equivalent? And um, 10 years ago, I thought about that and sat on it and decided one day, let's just do it. Let's do it. There's not anything like it anywhere. And sure enough, here we are. Opening in I mean, I'm truly month. surprised this has not been tried before. I'm I'm shocked yeah. because, like you said, the idea has been people have been saying that for years. Where's the male equivalent? Right. Where's the male? And right. Right. Nobody and, did it. Nobody actually did it. You, you're the first one that actually said, "I'm gonna put this idea on on paper, and first then I'm one. gonna and then I'm gonna put it in a building, and boom." And there you go. So, and it's just that easy, Al, to open a restaurant. <laughs> That's what I hear. You should learn from Rod. That's like what how, I hear. how many years did it take you to to formulate this? Well, you know, I've co-owned a bar before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, for ten years, really, I've sat around and thought about. The concept, what I want, right. what I want it to be, the location. Yeah. What is and the concept? Is it really the male equivalent of, equivalent of Hooters, like they're saying? Is it going to be chicken wings? It's not. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun comfort foods. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I think that once we open, what's going to set us apart from the comparison of the other uh, restaurants um, will be the food. We do have amazing appetizers, and we, of course, are going to have hot dogs. You yeah. Have to. <laughs> Tally is everything yeah, yeah, yeah. like banana splits? Is everything on the menu going to be very phallic yes. shaped? <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. Cucumber salad. <laughs> <laughs> but there is going to be things from the grill, pasta dishes, yeah. salads, yeah. you know, a little bit of something for everyone. Is the pasta going to come in fun shapes? You know, we're thinking about that. We keep getting that hint. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see. I think it's uh, a great imagine idea, the bachelorette though. parties going through there. That's the thing, because you're uh, going to oh draw, because usually Hooters will only draw, you know, mostly men. Mostly men, yeah. And they want to watch sports and have the eye candy. But right. in this situation, when your demo is going to be a lot of women and probably a lot of gay men, what is the other draw going to be? Because most people don't want to go watch sports in that situation, right? Right, and that's true. Um, our facility does have two huge screens. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, so, of course, we will do sporting events. Uh, I can't wait to have an amazing Oscars night party. Um, <laughs> right. Right. Have the wiener mobile. The red carpet. <laughs> yeah, red wow. carpet events. We're going to do you know stuff that's going to, I think, appeal to everyone. Yeah. Okay. What is yeah. the entertainment sign in the bar that we've seen a shot of on the Facebook page mean? Is there going to be like performances every night? Uh -oh. All right. So people it says are bar, confused. restaurant, entertainment. Entertainment. Yes. Evan told you, but it's going to be JC. I'm just kidding. <gasps> <Yes>! <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. You're the surprise. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, so at night from 9 to 2, mm -hmm. we're going to have live entertainment, meaning like live singers. Awesome. Oh. Have a great lineup for everyone. Friday night, have a female vocalist uh, named Vera Vaz. She's amazing. Uh, Saturday night, we have a Las Vegas headline performer called Mark Allen Smith. Mm -hmm. He is a um, vocalist, impressionist. He sings live. And does over sixty voices. It's one wow. of those things you just have to come see to believe. Mm -hmm. So you can hear like a bunch of different yeah. songs that you probably like already. He takes a song and puts about five people singing it. He'll oh. bring in Bette Midler oh, and Cher cool. and Louis Armstrong and Elton John. Oh, wow. That's fun. That's tough, it is right fun. There. Rodney at Tallywhackers, what is on the kids menu? <laughs> on the kids menu. <laughs> well, believe it or not, uh -huh. we have created a small kids menu. Okay. Just in case. Just in case, you know, because we are going to have lunch and dinner. Sure. You know, uh, we're not going to be doing anything that's going to be 
inappropriate. No, okay. no, it's fun um, for the whole family. Yeah, and someone can bring a child by. So we do have a small little kids menu that consists of the corn dogs oh, and the why chicken does it nuggets. Be small? And, so mm-hmm. what, are the, the what are the male waiters? Is that still a politically correct term? I don't even no, know what we're supposed to call What are the male servers wearing? What so, is the what is the costume? Is the costume an outfit? What uniform? Right. So we are actually <laughs> still in the process of getting that locked down mm-hmm. because you know there are laws. You yeah. have to go by. Oh, wow. Yeah, you don't want to get like a nipple hair on your like salad. Hygiene, or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. So, to serve food, you can't have chest hair and stuff like that. Uh-huh. So, we will have on, as of right now, <laughs> like a tight red t shirt mm-hmm. okay. and something that's going to be a boxer brief equivalent. Okay. So, that's, it, the, that's the plan now. It that's could the plan. Yeah. And it could change. So we, as soon as we have that locked down, oh, we have wow. someone designing something for us. The big unveil. Well, they uh, will hit the website. I promise. <clears throat> will uh, Will any of your wait servers uh, uh, stuff? Yeah, stuffed jalapenos stuff, on the menu. Stuff. Oh, my well, goodness. Uh, if it's what a, a horrible question. A box of brief, Kelly, is pretty form fitting. Horrible question, Al. Yeah, but it lifts. <laughs> you guys are saying you want to hire muscular, uh, you know, fit guys. Is- we want to hire a. Wide variety of men. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone has a different type. Mm-hmm. You know, I need the True. the younger ones, the older ones, the muscular ones, the not so muscular ones. We want to have eye candy for everyone. And the neat thing is going to be when you walk in, we'll have the now serving section. And so you can actually pick the guy who you think is your type oh, and boy. prefer to sit in his section. But what, 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 what if you're the one? Sitting over there on the bench, like pick hey. me, pick me. Hey, Al, nobody at your section again today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. so I think they're all gonna want to be picked by someone, right? And oh, then some man. people won't care, and yeah. they'll just be in the rotation. Yeah. But if you come in and go, oh, this is the one I've got to sit in his section. Yeah. You can do that. You know, we're gonna be a respectable restaurant. Uh-huh. Sure. You know, there's not. It's just gonna be like if you go to anywhere else. You know, there's not any groping going on right. or anything mm-hmm. crazy. Um, it's well. gonna be a lot of clean fun. And great entertainment. And you know what's cool about this interview with, with Rodney is that you haven't done any interviews regarding Tallywhackers yet. This is the first one. Wow. This is the first Thank one. Thank you Look very much. Get ready. Yeah. So when he like becomes a billionaire and he has a book out, you're going to talk about this. Yes, we're going to talk about it because being on the Kid Credit on uh, the morning show before, I really wanted this to be my first place to come. That's nice. Um, so I've put all the... Other request at this time on hold until oh. I could do this. Yeah, I really uh, wanted to reach out to Kelly and and um, and do this in honor of Kid. I wanted Thank to come you. up here and oh, he would have a field day with oh, this. Oh, yeah, he would love it. Gosh, yeah. oh, oh, he, he would yeah, make he would. Big Al and JC go down there and audition well, for a spot on the <laughs> roster. Well, I was gonna say that's something <laughs> even I think, better than yeah. that. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Kid yeah. would have done what? something great. Y'all been talking about that little busy escape room thing earlier. Yes, the contest. Uh huh. Why don't we spice that up and make it real fun? Mm. And we'll like do the women and the men. Uh huh. And then whoever loses yep. has to come down and work for an hour. Yes. Oh. And the oh. women too? So the if women, you lose, you got to work at Tallywhackers. I got to work at Tallywhackers? Dressed like with the tight stuff. <laughs> with the women, we'll do something fun. We'll host like some kind of crazy happy hour for women. Oh, so we just had to have fun. You get to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> JC, I already know what we're going to put him in. Uh-oh. For sure. Um, please tell right me. Right in the front right door. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm the greeter? This is we'll put great, you as the greeter. You guys. Yeah. And Al, you probably need the money. I, so I'd, you serve. I'd be that guy just like I was saying, <laughs> pick me. Al's going to be the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put him back yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, my. They yeah. might relax the health codes that day and let you wait shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hair on this chest, Al. baby, and down under. And don't mention the ass fro. Oh, oh, Al, 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 oh my, oh, gross. <laughs> Nobody wants to see uh, that. Rodney, Al's got a tramp fro. Does he need like, to shave that before we come in? Uh, <laughs> we're probably going to need to at least trim it down. Yeah. yeah but, hey, just on your uh, Sunday artist shaving day, just I, see if they'll do that for I, you. I'm trying to get uh, my, my barber down there, Corey. I said, can you hit this little spot right here? Uh, uh, you know, yeah, I know, I know you normally do the face, but I'm going to sit in the chair backwards and have... Oh, my gosh, Al, no. Oh, my. <laughs> Yes. Do you have a specialty drink since I'm sure it's not going to be as beer heavy with a lot of the women? We are rolling out some specialty drinks. By the way, we will be announcing we have two contest items on the menu, which is going to be really fun. We've already yeah. been in contact with the Food Network on mm. that. Um, oh, like an eating challenge kind right, of item. Right. Nice. There's oh, two of them. Like the biggest dog. Right. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, boy. There'll be a foot long something on oh. there. <laughs> um, we do have a really hot burger called the Flamer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. And do you have fun straws like the ones the Bachelorette no. parties carry? We'll probably maybe have something. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, just, you know, stuff like that. It's just against TABC codes. Right. Thank uh-huh. you. Thank God the TABC has sense. Um, Rodney Duke, I went on the Tallywhackers uh, Facebook page. 
And you already have guys modeling. You had like a full modeling shoot for the for the. We ladies. did. Yes. Are those guys going to be working at the place? Uh, right now, I think. What I'm trying to do is I wanted to keep the models separate from the employees. Okay. I think it's a smart idea. <laughs> yeah. But we, they will be making appearances and being in there for events. Mm. Um, so we're excited. I'm very excited. This has been, um, I want to say thank you to all the su amazing support we've gotten. We haven't had anything really negative come our way. That's fun. Um, I think you need like, what is it, a million hits to be viral? Uh-huh. Um, and we're pushing three. Oh. So we've already been in publications in the UK. I, I've had numerous i can't even almost count them come to our city come to our city and people wanting yeah. to franchise and i'm like already not, like, yeah. you're gonna right. have to, you're gonna have not, to yeah. west hollywood oh, oh yeah west hollywood you would kill it vegas there. you would kill it in vegas new york magazine said for the city that never sleeps they will not sleep until there's tallywhackers times square <laughs> did you expect that how i did not I, I knew that we would be popular. You just had to be the first yeah. to just go for it once we opened do you realize all we did was put up a craigslist ad yeah, yeah. said now hiring and about two days later, I started getting text messages. Oh, my gosh, look at this and look at this. And we just were being published everywhere. Yeah, you don't right. even really have a hard opening date. Uh, <laughs> Shout a out. Firm opening, I don't even know. It's sometime in mid-May. Correct. But yeah. are you already, like, taking reservations? How are people, There's the wait's going to be ridiculous. It is. Our phone rings nonstop mm. uh, for bachelorette parties, yeah. birthday parties, wanting to make reservations. It's going to be before we can get in well as of right now we're not taking the reservations because mm -hmm. i don't want it to be set up like that sure mm -hmm. if i did reservations you wouldn't get in for probably six or eight months yeah and uh, uh, i don't want it to be like that right uh, since you don't have a hard opening date do you have a soft opening date plan i am trying to aim our we were trying to aim for i think it's may 9th which yeah. was saturday oh it's uh -huh. my mother's day weekend it's my birthday right. bring your mother <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm okay, so my it's mom. my birthday and mother's day and my mom's birthday it's perfect it would be perfect so that's what we're aiming for um it's just gonna have to be announced yeah. later rodney if i'm one of your waiters can i call in sick if it's a cold day <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say if you come on in, I'm sure we can find someone that can warm you up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> are you still hiring at Tallywhackers? How, like, if I want to work at Tallywhackers, we what are. Do I do? Yes, we are still taking applications. You can apply online on our website, or come in person this week, 12 to 5. It closes on Friday, and we're making all the decisions and callbacks then. Have they asked you to do a reality show yet? Um, I've had two requests. Two requests. Yes. And go with Bravo. We're, we're go with Bravo. It. That's right. That's <laughs> yeah, be the one to go with. For the better network. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. You know, I just focus on making the opening and the first few months. I better the <laughs> yeah. hardest. They always say the first year of a restaurant and bar is like when you're not even making money. Normally. Try the first five. You just, yeah. You just gotta. <laughs> right. Yeah. I would just focus on the quality control because then you could really expand this thing. And that's what we want. I want you to come in and have phenomenal entertainment, phenomenal eye candy, and phenomenal food and customer service. Yeah. And I think that if we start jumping on too many bandwagons right that we're gonna spread ourselves thin right and that's exactly not right. what we want to yeah, do yeah you don't want to hoe around no yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know you don't want to hoe right. around the tallywhackers uh -uh. no no uh, oh i that can't is... wait to see alan jc oh first of all we, we would have to lose the competition so you're getting ahead of yourself uh-huh okay <laughs> We'll so he thinks he already won. Mm -hmm, Great. Exactly. But if this radio thing doesn't work out for me, Rodney, I would love Be to right come there. audition for your restaurant. Well, we'd hire you in a heartbeat, I promise. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Look, I've got a new job like that, yeah, you, guys. Al. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Al, you want to ask anybody else in the room? Or, uh, <clears throat> I always ask everyone, have y'all seen JC? A little bit older. No, <laughs> we just hear him on the radio. For the, for the older, more mature crowd. Hold on, know. Al. We're still talking about JC. <laughs> no, no, I don't like talking about JC. For the more mature, you know, far, for everybody. far less discerning <laughs> audience. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Duke, uh, your restaurant set to open Good maybe luck, around May-ish. Yes, Mother's May 9th to May 15th. Good luck, man. It's a tough business, but it sounds like y'all feel great. And go I can't wait for y'all to be punished and have to uh, serve yeah. there. Yeah. So keep, it great. Keep, keep it down there, Kelly. And go visit Tallywhackers on Facebook. It's they're, they're giving you updates on the daily. Good. You already have a lot of stars, and nobody's even eaten there, so your reviews are <laughs> doing yeah. well. And 15, I know I love 000 it. 15,000 likes. Yeah. 15,000 likes, and we have almost a five-star rating, and we how, haven't even opened. That's how, hilarious. How many pokes? <laughs> 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 Give it up for Rodney Duke, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.